favourite thing to do is paint. And today I'm going to make a rainbow. To make my rainbow, I've been around my kitchen and collected some things I can use to print with. A potato masher, the leftover from the celery, some scrunched up tin foil, a pastry brush, something I found in the recycling, the lid off a glass jar and some easy to use chopsticks. Remember though, you can use anything in your kitchen as long as your mum, your dad or whoever's looking after you knows you're using it. You will also need some paper, but don't worry if you've not got a big sheet of paper like me, you could use a roll of wallpaper or you could use a piece of material anything that you can print on top of. You will also need something to put your paint onto. I've used some of my little plates, which I'm going to wash after because they will get covered in paint. So that I don't get my clothes full of paint, I have put on my art apron. You could use an old t-shirt or a shirt just to protect your clothes. These are the colors I'm going to use for my rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, and purple. If you've not got all the colors of the paint that I have, you can mix paints together using primary colors. We can turn them into secondary colors. If I mix red with yellow, what color will I get? You can see, it's starting to go orange. If I mix yellow with blue, I will make green. If I mix red and blue together, I will make a purple. my first guideline for the red so I'm just going to draw the shape of the rainbow red my first color is red so I'm going to use my potato masher I'm going to get lots of paint on there and then I'm going to use it to print with to make the first color of my rainbow so I'm just using that first line as a guide to the top of this rainbow. Red. My next colour is orange. I'm going to use my scrunched up tin foil. I'm going to make it into a ball. I'm going to pop it into the orange paint. Get lots on there. You can see. And I'm going to use this to make the next colour in my rainbow. So again, I'm just gonna print that on. And sometimes when things are really messy, they look even better. I'm gonna show you that. I've got red and orange now. My next color is yellow. Yellow. I'm going to use the end of my celery and I'm going to just dip that into the yellow paint. I'm gonna take a print to make the yellow section. So back onto my rainbow. I'm just gonna print that on. I think this one is my favorite pattern. There we go. The next color I'm going to use is green. Green. So now I'm going to use the top of a glass jar. I'm gonna dip that into my green paint, like so. And I'm going to pop this on. Now my space is starting to run out, so I can just go over the top of the other colours as well. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you this so you can see what I've done now. My next colour is blue. Blue. I'm going to use this box I found in the recycling because I really like the square on the base of it. I'm going to dip that into my blue, like so. I'm going to put that on next. The next colour 
colour is one of my favourite colours. This is pink. Pink. I'm going to use a pastry brush now. I'm going to just dip that into the pink. Looks like my hair. So I'm going to use this onto my rainbow. I'm just going to dab that all over there. That is a brilliant texture. I'm going to show it you again. The last colour I'm going to use is purple. Purple. I'm going to use these easy to use chopsticks that I found in the kitchen because I really like the shape at the top. So I'm going to dip that in. I'm going to use my finger just to make sure I get lots of that on that, like this. And then I'm going to print with this. I'm just going to fill all that space in now. I'm even going to put my fingerprints in there as well. And I'm going to show you the finished piece, my rainbow. Well, my rainbow has now dried and I've just been showing it to Winnie the dog to see what she thinks. Winnie! Winnie! Do you like the rainbow? Rainbow! Good girl. <laughs>